Hey everyone, RJ here with CV Tech. Did the Galaxy S7 finally get Oreo? Let's check it out. Okay everyone, so here is the Samsung Galaxy S7. Now this here is the Boost Mobile version. And I gotta say, it's been a great experience since I've had the phone. It has worked very well, been very fluid, and just worked like it's supposed to. So let's go ahead and go into the settings here. And we'll scroll on down here to system updates and check the updates. And yes, you will see there that finally the Boost Mobile version did get Android Oreo with Samsung Experience 9.0. So it's really nice to see that there. But first things first, before I even download that, I'm going to go ahead and show you right now what current software I am running. I am running Android 7.0 Nougat. So what I'm going to do right now is show you some benchmarks that I am getting here on 7.0. And then when I do the download to Oreo, I'm going to rerun these tests to show you if the scores have increased or decreased. So let's go ahead and look at uh, Geekbench 4. And you will see that the score for single core was 1744 and 3910 multi core score. And on N22, we got 163.684. So pretty impressive scores. Let's go ahead and go in back into here into the updates. And we'll go ahead and push download. So this will take quite some time because it is a 1.6 gigabyte download. So as soon as this gets finished, I will be back to finish this video up. Okay, everyone. So we are back with the Galaxy S7 after the update. We'll go ahead and just get onto the main screen. So, of course, everything looks the same here. Uh, to be honest with you, I've been using it for a little bit, and I really can't tell no difference at this moment. So that might be something that will come a little bit later on. Let's go into the settings here and verify that we are on the newest version of Android. And yes, you will see right there we are on Android version 8.0.0 with Samsung Experience version 9.0. And as you remember, we looked at some benchmark tests on 7.0. So we're going to run those again. Everything's all cleared out here, ready for all new testing. Uh, just to see if it is any faster or showing faster on his benchmarks. Let's go ahead and go into Geek Bench 4. And you will see, you got to accept here. You got 8.0 Oreo here. So let's go ahead and set the phone down. We'll go ahead and start this benchmark test. And we will see where it stands. So you'll see here on this updated Geek Bench, we are actually a little bit lower here on 8.0. Uh, coming in at 1726, but a little bit higher here on Oreo at 4148 multi core score. So let's go ahead and go back home here. We'll go into N22 benchmark and we'll go ahead and get in with this test starting now. Okay, so we are finished here now with a score of 162,752, which is a little bit less than the 7.0 score was. So you can see the percentages there, but I would say overall, um, it does seem to be pretty good. Now, after using it for only five minutes, it's kind of hard to really tell how a, a phone is going to be working and everything on the newest you know, 8.0 is out right now. So uh, after a few days, I will use this thing and uh, see how it performs, see all the kind of new stuff that's uh, about 8.0 on the Samsung Galaxy S7. And I'll get back to you then. So if it was helpful and informative and you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Any questions you may have, leave it below. I'll get back with you as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'd appreciate it. Y'all have a good one and thanks for watching.